Luxury knows no limits when it comes to the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman. He lives a life of pure extravagance surrounded by fancy cars and breathtaking yachts, but there's more to him than meets the eye. Behind his wealth and showiness, he has big dreams for the future of his visionary plan called Vision 2030. However, it's his extravagant lifestyle that captures everyone's attention. Let's take a peek at the breathtaking world of Prince Mohammed bin Salman, where beauty and luxury collide. Chateau Louis XIV Prince Salman is well renowned for his lavish real estate purchases, which include the Chateau Louis XIV in France. The prince paid a staggering $300 million for the chateau, breaking a previous record for the most expensive residential real estate purchase. After purchasing the castle, MBS hired Imad Kashoggi, a French real estate developer of the Saudi descent, to restore and renovate the home. Over 131,000 individuals worked on a 57-acre site over three years. The restoration of Chateau Louis XIV required the fusion of modern controls and infrastructure of 17th century handicraft customs. A moat, a cinema theatre and a 200-person capacity underground nightclub are just a few of the chateau's excellent amenities. The chateau's opulent interiors include marble flooring, gold leaf covered walls and antique furnishings. Modern technology is installed throughout the chateau including a sophisticated security system, a cutting-edge air filtration system, and a temperature control system. The Chateau Louis XIV perfectly illustrates MBS's taste for grandeur and extravagance. The Chateau's magnificent architecture and cutting-edge technology amenities bear witness to the Prince's lavish taste and limitless financial resources. Super Yacht Serene one of MBS's most special possessions is the Super Yacht Serene, for which he paid an astounding $500 million. The Serene is a 450 foot long super yacht featuring several opulent facilities. It has 15 cabins which can hold up to 24 people, including a VIP suite, a master suite with a private deck, and 13 regular guest cabins. Along with many swimming pools, hot tubs, a sauna and a steam room, the vessel also offers its visitors a variety of entertainment and relaxation options. The Serene features numerous other conveniences and opulent living quarters, making it the perfect yacht for the ultra-rich. Among them are two helipads, a hangar for helicopters, a gym, a theatre and a sizeable indoor and outdoor recreational space. The Serene was once owned by a Russian vodka entrepreneur, Yuri Scheffler, and rented it to the wealthiest people for millions per week. But when the yacht was put up for sale in 2015 for $330 million, Prince Mohammed bin Salman was drawn to it. Salvatore Mundi by Leonardo da Vinci The Leonardo da Vinci artwork Salvatore Mundi, which set a record-breaking $450 million when it was sold in 2017, is now reportedly owned by Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The artwork is shown to have Christ in the painting holding a crystal ball in his left hand and raising his right hand in a blessing. This masterpiece is one of Leonardo da Vinci's final works. However, some art historians and specialists have questioned the painting's integrity. While some have maintained that the artwork is not a genuine da Vinci, others have provided proof. In addition to doubts over authenticity, the painting has not been seen by the general public since a 2017 auction. The painting is reportedly in Prince Mohammed bin Salman's super yacht, worth more than $500 million. There hasn't been any official word on the painting's location or whether it is on the prince's yacht. The Oil King Prince Salman is certainly the oil king. The most valuable corporation in Saudi Arabia and the world's largest oil producer, Saudi Aramco, significantly influences the world economy. The business was valued at a record-breaking $2 trillion in 2019, making it the most valuable and successful business globally. Mohammed bin Salman, the crown prince, owns Saudi Aramco and has led initiatives to change the nation's economy through Vision 2030. The Prince's Vision 2030 plan calls for diversifying Saudi Arabia's economy away from the oil sector and investing in new businesses and technology. 
This includes strategies to finance renewable energy projects, build new tourist attractions, and improve the economic climate for international investors. These large-scale initiatives were planned to be paid for with the money raised from selling Saudi Aramco shares. The Crown Prince has considerable economic and political sway because he controls Saudi Aramco. The company's earnings and investments can be utilised to finance government programmes and advance the general growth of the nation. As a result, the Crown Prince's valuation of and ownership of Saudi Aramco has significant ramifications for Saudi Arabia's future and its position in the global economy. The Entertainment Industry Mohammed bin Salman has invested in several game firms including SNK, Activision Blizzard and Nexon. According to Kotaku, an electronic gaming development business, the Crown Prince's EGDC owns almost all of SNK. This investment is a component of Saudi Arabia's aim to increase its sway over international markets. The game business has long piqued bin Salman's curiosity. He has previously met with American businesses like Facebook and Google to discuss potential investment options. To diversify its economy and lessen its dependency on oil, Saudi Arabia has been making significant investments in esports and gaming in recent years. Bin Salman is gaining more control over international sectors and entering a profitable industry by investing in SNK and other game companies. According to market research company Nuzu, the gaming business has been expanding quickly lately and is predicted to earn over $196 billion in sales by 2023. The Sports Industry The world of professional sports is included in Prince Salman's collection of valuable items. The Magpies, officially known as Newcastle United, became the wealthiest Premier League team in 2021 when the Saudi Public Investment Fund paid £305 million to acquire them. The action was considered a component of the Prince's more extensive programs to expand the Saudi economy and increase his influence on the international scene. Prince Salman now has access to the club's excellent training facility as a new owner of Newcastle United. St James Park, the team stadium, has a capacity of more than 52,000 and is regarded as one of England's most famous and illustrious venues. Prince Salman is uniquely positioned to entice top talent to the club because of his enormous riches. According to reports, the Prince is prepared to spend a lot of money to sign prominent players from around the globe, which might raise the profile of the team and the league as a whole. Private Island Getaways How can we forget about the private islands? Prince Salman is known for his luxurious private island retreats in the Maldives. Numerous resorts and spas that provide a range of activities including diving, surfing, water skiing and more are all accessible to the prince and his family. Since the islands are privately held, the prince and his family may enjoy the quiet and isolation they require to unwind and have fun without drawing paparazzi and media attention. The Luxury Vehicles And finally, the gold-plated Bugatti and luxury vehicles. Prince Mohammed bin Salman is renowned for having a sizable collection of high-end automobiles, some of which are among the most expensive and rare in existence. He reportedly spent $12.5 million on a gold-plated Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport, one of the most remarkable vehicles in his collection. With a top speed of more than 400 km per hour, the Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport is one of the world's quickest and most potent vehicles. The car has a 16-cylinder engine with more than 1,000 horsepower that is hand-built in France. It stands up from other luxurious cars thanks to a striking exterior design and gold-plated finish. Along with the Bugatti Veyron, Mohammed bin Salman's collection consists of several other high-end automobiles, including a Lamborghini Aventador, a Range Rover, a Mercedes G63, a Rolls-Royce Phantom, a Bentley Continental Flying Spur and a Rolls-Royce Phantom Coupe. With a combined worth of over $36 million, these cars are among the most costly and exclusive automobiles in the entire world. With that being said, thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more. And we'll see you in the next one.